Uh. Uh, I don't know what to say. So, half Grimalkin, half human. There's another human, half a uh, fully human kid. Oh, it's, uh, I guess I'll say a little tad bit of what I think of the game. It's a good game. Good soundtrack, everything is perfect. Uh, it's definitely on the easier side. The final boss was like 12 level higher than me and I still had no problems. Well, I had a little bit of problems because I didn't really care about dodging moves too much until like closer to the end where I had nothing. Uh, skirmishes are a little too RNG based but I really don't know what I'm doing but I can get through it. There are a lot of ways to level up so just search on YouTube for that. It's a f all in all, it's a fun game. You want to challenge you fight Tainted Monster, you go into the Dream Dungeon and get up to level 5, and a lot of the monster will be a lot stronger. But other than that, for you to just go through the game normally, as long as you do side quests, you'll be a sufficient level. You fight some of the Tainted Monster, you'll be a sufficient level. But yeah, you start, uh, let's say, level 50. If you're a good player, you're starting at level 50 to go through the, like the last dungeon and everything. By the end, you'll be like a bolo 55 fighting, fighting the final boss, and it should be okay. It's an easy enough game for you to be able to do that. Story wise, I really wish someone died. Other than Nella in the beginning, and Alessandra in the end. We don't really know what happens to Dolorin. She technically, should be dead. But, you know, magic. Other than that, uh, I don't really know how Kane's make her work, so she gave up her powers, yada yada yada, she, and the dark being came to be. It's, I guess that works, but if she knew that was gonna happen, why do in the first place, even if it's love? It's forbidden love, if she knew that, she's technically a god. Like, can't you still marry him in a way? Like, you won't have kids, but... Uh. But yeah, other than the story being a little... It's not lackluster, I think it's really lighthearted. Like, completely lighthearted. This is way more lighthearted than the first game, at least from what I remember, because the first game had a lot of emotional, a lot of darker tones in the game. The only dark tone in this game was Rowan seeing his kid, like, dying, like, his entire place is destroyed. We don't really get to know what happened to Roland, unless there's a after cutscene. Oh, there's his mom. That's cute. Uh, after like the credit cutscene, maybe if there is one. Yeah, this game you should definitely play once it's a little cheaper. It's a 30-hour game, at least how I played through it, and I didn't really go super fast until the end. I took my time with some side quests and everything, but... Yeah, I did a, a fair amount of exploring. I didn't get all the all the Higgledies that I could have, but I got a fair number, which was good, like fifteen, which is not really good out of hundred. You really think about it? But yeah, uh, the king, the kingdom little thing to get King Gilder. I really wish it wasn't like that. I was timed. So you had to keep playing to make money, to upgrade everything, to research everything. So all if that's an achievement, that's gonna take a long time. I can see that taking to maybe 40 hours to get everything. Maybe even more, because you have to get every citizens too. So yeah, to 100 percent this game is probably gonna be like 60 to 100 rough very rough estimate so if you guys like that definitely go for it i'm definitely gonna put the credit scene after i'm just gonna cut it out and do uh and upload it as a separate thing saying this my thoughts the game good game though definitely lighthearted. not worth 80 dollars if you live in canada 
When you do it gets cheaper, at least $20 off, and it'll be definitely worth it. Just a little too easy. Hopefully they add a difficulty spike or something. DLC. Free DLC. Yeah, good game. Oh uh, yeah, you got to see Roland a bit. That's pretty awesome. Oh, it's, it's like right before the missile hits, I'm guessing. We'll be arriving at the World Unification Summit shortly, Mr. President. Thanks. <laughs> you seem happy. <laughs> Not really. We still have a mountain to climb. I can't imagine convincing all the nations of the world to sign up for this will be easy. It's never been done before, I guess, but if you could pull it off, wow. <laughs> As Vice President of the United States, oh, it's, it's been done, all right. Really? <sighs> sure. In a little country a long, long way from here. So he gets to like do all he gets to do all over pretty much. That's cool. That's cool. Ugh. So you'll start again from after five dollar and okay. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna do it early night. I'll be back Friday. I'm gonna test out that god also. I need to choose what game I'm gonna play. Ah, <sighs> they don't do anything that was... Okay. Anyways, thank you guys for all for watching. See you next time.